turns to stone. From their new album, uh, you can't catch a fish from a train. Oh, yes, you can. <laughs> it's rubbish. We've already worked out that you can. Okay, okay. all right. If, all you right. Park, if you park, Later. Sorry, if you park the train on the bridge. Yeah, on the bridge, fish, so, yeah. Yeah, so, oh, we need to tell them. Can you tell them when you go to the Golden Guitars uh, on Saturday night uh, to pick up your Golden Guitar for winning, right? They're going to be losing because they it's ridiculous. They've said something stupid on their album saying you can't fish from a train, and you can fish from a train, Harry Maggots. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> How's that for a second? I, I, yeah, it's, it's, it's professional and great. Well, and I think maybe uh, throwing out a massive net. <laughs> <laughs> right? You yeah. can just uh, throw out a net into the billabong. And uh, just from a train. use the momentum of the train oh, there you go. to your advantage. We should have brought him in the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon, given that I don't strip them of the golden guitar, I think they deserve it because uh, hey, we're, we're, it we're, is we're, difficult to fish from a train. We've got <laughs> oh, to admit, okay. It's a high level of difficulty. He's in the awards with it, he's up against them. Oh, right. Oh, I'm strolling. Oh you heard it first on Karma Strong. So, Henry, good morning to you and uh, welcome good to Karma Radio. Hey, thanks for having me. No oh, I, only, I only just got into uh, Tamway last night last and it was, a, uh, it was a big evening too. I'm still recovering. Apparently, uh, but, you were jumping on the tables and carrying on with Henry Yeah, I was <laughs> doing... Facebook. Really? Yeah. There you go. It's official. It's out in the open. But yeah, I... Um, I occasionally climb on things. I, I like to give people something to watch if you're you hating the songs. Climbing on things. <laughs> Sleazy. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. First person is recognised. Yeah, there you, you go. There you go. <laughs> I reckon family gatherings wouldn't be so bad with this guy around the table. <laughs> Just to wind him up and let him go. <laughs> <laughs> so it would be more and more eventful than my Christmas dinner last, last uh, year. No offence to the Wagons family. Well, you look at the, look at the, he's got a record player as a watch on his uh, on his wrist. Wow, that's a good Pixie, that's terrible radio. <laughs> <laughs> look Don't at that. talk about what I look like. <laughs> <laughs> I, I explained. I, I explained. I, I, I made the explanation. I've I, got, I wouldn't dare tell them what you look like. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. That's fair to be honest. Um, I do have a look. I do have a great watch, I, and you have great taste. Thanks for noticing. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Henry, uh, tell us a little bit about uh, yourself and uh, what's been happening for you since uh, last Tamworth. Well, I I wasn't here last Tamworth, um, but I was the time before, and I'm, I'm becoming addicted to it. I feel like uh, us. Um, you know, dingy uh, Melbourne rat bags are slowly being uh, welcomed. The gates are opening a little bit um, to uh, to us, and it's it's great fun. I'm 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 really enjoying it every time I come up here, and uh, looking forward to climbing on a few more tables, and, <laughs> and uh, you know, showing people a good time on Saturday when my show is uh, oh, Saturday, oh. two p.m. Cafe, twenty three forty. I'm there. I, I I you will get the red carpet. You can wear my watch the whole gig. So tell us a bit about uh, your oh, music. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Well, my music's uh, sort of like a cross between um, fat, sweaty Elvis Presley, um, maybe um, Roy Orbison, uh, just just as he found out his house burnt down. Um, <laughs> Is this in his like his uh, you know his uh, adult? Or yeah, or... it's sort of in his late. It's all of them in death store years. You know. Wow. I mean, I love actually. You know, in twenty sixteen there was plenty of artists that, that dropped off. R.I.P. Yeah, you know, but they, they, the people like David Bowie and, yeah. and Johnny Cash, all yeah. those American recordings albums. You know, when an artist knows they're hurtling towards their doom, mm -hmm. there's a poignancy, an extra yep. depth to their yep. songwriting. They sound like this old, twisted mahogany. You know, it's beautiful, <laughs> antique songwriting. You it's know, beautiful. Johnny Cash's last album when he did that Nine Inch Nails song was just oh so my God. moving. Absolutely. It was the most moving recording he's ever done. I love uh, all, all those American recordings, mm -hmm. uh, albums that mm -hmm. he did towards the end. And, you know, yeah, I think, is that a good way to sell my gig that I... I sound like you know, about to die. <laughs> it's what's called a USP, mate. It's a unique selling point. <laughs> all right, all right. I've got you there anyway. <laughs> no, it's fun. I, I came down um, 
but yet I think this is my third Tamworth and I, I didn't know what to expect. I've been playing for a long time in and around, um, you know, the, the, the dingy city uh, laneways, but uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> when, uh, it was it was great, uh, you know, when I came here a couple of years ago, the, the show sold out, got a, a, a rousing reception, so I'm, I'm looking forward to, you know, doing it all again this year, it's, it's great fun. But yeah, um, in terms of what I've been up to, I've been um, spending plenty of time in the US and Canada. I was there three times in the last year. Um, I'm, I'm leaving again next week uh, to head off there to go off and, on tour. Um, did a couple of tours around Australia. Um, but uh, yeah, I've, I've been busy, it's all good. And also on, uh, on Double J Arrival, the radio station, I've got the uh, Tower of Song every Monday night, uh, if I could uh, plug, you know, plug my own radio show on a competing and <laughs> Blah, 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 <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> So, you know, that's a lot of fun as well. I, I had my, before I had the radio show, my head was so far up my own bum um, you know, and just immersed in my own music, but it's great, as I'm sure you all well know, to be uh, across <laughs> other people's music as well is a, a real treat. Absolutely. And so, what have uh, been you know the biggest influences? You said Johnny Cash and um, Elvis, Elvis, and that kind of thing. But like, what um, what sort of music were you listening to when you were growing up? Uh, my first two albums were ACDC's Back in Black <laughs> and uh, and Noise Works Greatest Hits. Oh. Um, you know, and uh, my first CD was the Blues Brothers soundtrack. Uh-oh. And in and in a weird way, in a perverse way, if you you um, dislike my music, you can see all of those influences remain to this very day. There is a bit of Blues Brothers in there, um, <laughs> but I uh, I love um, who do I like? So. I love Johnny Cash. I love mm. Lucinda Williams. I love Emmy Lou Harris. I love all those. Uh, I Emmy love Lou, wow. all of the outlaw guys. Any of the highway men. Any of the travelling injuries. <laughs> yeah. Graham Parsons, really, come on. Graham yeah. Parsons, yeah. of course. I love Graham. Of course. I was in Joshua Tree paying, uh, you know, respect <laughs> well, to yeah. him just the other uh, the other month. Um, yeah. So all, all those kind of kind of outsider uh, folk, I really really love. Yeah. So yeah, that's sort of where I'm coming from. I can from. almost hear a bit of John Prine in you there as well. Oh man, love that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. John Prine, you know, he, he uh, he's absolute absolute legend. Yeah. And you know, all those new guys um, that are sort of injecting, um, a, you know, new life, oh, Jack White. soul into the uh, yeah. Jack White. Oh, for sure. He's in Nashville now. Yeah, I I um. I went to Jack White's 40th birthday in uh, yeah. Nashville. That actually. young Jack. Yeah. He's only this high like last week. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. But um, I got to, it was just a, a, it's a crazy long story, but I ended up getting to play basketball with Queens of the Stone Age, Jack White, members of the Dirt Bombs in Jack White's palatial uh, mansion. Mm. He's got three bowling alleys in his house. He's got a snooker table shaped like a lightning bolt. Um, he has well, that'd a, work. <laughs> well, it didn't. It, yet, it, it's about as difficult to play as it is to fish off a train. Eight ball, <laughs> eight ball in three side pockets. <laughs> well, I mean, you, you, you got your guitar out. Yeah. Um, I didn't even know if you wanted me to bring it or not, but I'm imposing it good. on you. It's good. It's good. We'd like to hear sure. some uh, live uh, singing from the studio. Well, so well, tell us a bit about the song. Well, you were ta- you were asking me about my influences, but one of my uh, biggest is the guy this song is about. Um... <laughs> Some soul and blue, and see men 
Saturday, Saturday, tomorrow. tomorrow, yeah, oh my god, I don't know where I am or what I'm <laughs> quite doing at the moment, but yeah, tomorrow, 2pm, Cafe 2340, but before then, I'm looking forward to meeting a whole uh, yeah. bunch of new folk and seeing a lot of people play. I'm about to actually play basketball with Lachlan Bryan. <laughs> so, so yeah. I've got a Oh, really? Okay. You try and get a past it. Oh, oh, right. oh, or Adam Harvey. Oh, Adam Harvey. Oh, can I be Juice Boy? <laughs> Done. How would that be, Troy Camp, Adam Harvey, uh, versus like uh, X Jenkins? Um, All the shorties. Adam. Adam, Adam yep. Man, yeah. Troy. Yeah. Adam Brown. I'm not telling you you said that. I'm not exactly. telling you you said that. You you put Adam Brown in, in, in the shorties. Yeah. Uh, I'm not telling you. <laughs> it's, uh, Henry, uh, hey, again, thanks, so thanks very much for coming on the show and, uh, and talking to us. And for those people interested, Cafe 234 is just in White Street, just about across the road from the uh, shopping centre at the end of town here. Yeah. Uh, it's a nice little big open uh, acoustic venue, actually. Yeah, I played there last time, it was an absolute blast. Mm. There was um, plenty of booze and good times to be had. <laughs> <laughs> and good poached eggs, too. Lovely. No That's all so, I mean. Henry, thanks very much again for joining us here on Cafe. Radio. No worries, I'll see you next time. I hope if you'll uh, ever have me back. <laughs> I'll worry. bring my I'll, I'll bring my fishing net next time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, up next, uh, I'm going to go to a little track. This one is uh, from the Wolf Brothers uh, new album, oh, wow. This Crazy Life. And we but, have. Uh, uh, I'm going to go with uh, Hit the Road. I love that. Thank you so much. Rush off. Yeah, uh, look, I uh, could have played with that say track, I was just going to say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Sid. Yeah. Hey man, the old was, fiddle. I love that. Yeah, oh. bit of blues. <laughs> Actually, no. Hey, thanks for having me, guys. Thank you. Thank you for coming No worries, man. That's right. Oh, we'll get a photo one. Oh, yeah, we'll get a photo one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm good for an old fiddle, aren't you? I've been saying, my arms are like an old fiddle. They've done more work. That's right, they've done this before. They're amazing. They're amazing. They're amazing. They're amazing. Thanks, mate. I need to get a couple of photos too. Yeah, of course. 